First in this half hour, we have the latest on Peyton Manning under growing scrutiny because of a sexual harassment lawsuit against his alma mater, the University of Tennessee. That suit is bringing up an accusation made against Peyton uh, 20 years ago by a female trainer. ABC's Ryan Smith is here with the latest. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Robin. 16 coaches from both men's and women's sports teams at the University of Tennessee are making a rare move, holding a joint press conference to answer questions on a variety of issues. And with their school facing a lawsuit alleging it created a hostile sexual environment for women, Tennessee's football coach defending the storied university's reputation. This morning, 16 head coaches at the University of Tennessee speaking out at a joint press conference for the first time since six women filed a lawsuit alleging the university violated Title IX by creating a hostile environment for women. I can tell you this, that the University of Tennessee's athletic department is as good as I've ever seen anywhere that I've ever been. I promise you we will be honest and direct. This after football coach Butch Jones made his first public comments regarding the suit Saturday, defending the football program. We've worked very hard to build our culture. We'll continue to defend it. The plaintiffs allege that the school acted with deliberate indifference in its response to incidents of sexual assault. And it hits the pass. To Fowler. And among those major athletes cited in the filing, Peyton Manning, the good guy quarterback, fresh off his Super Bowl win. My relationships with my teammates have been very important to me. Allegations resurfacing from a 20-year-old incident. In which a highly regarded female trainer claimed Manning sexually assaulted her while at the University of Tennessee, allegedly placing his genital area on her while she examined his foot. In a book, Manning described the 1996 incident as a crude but harmless locker room exchange. Not right catching him mooning another athlete. It took social media to make this a new story. It's been out there. It's a, a story that is potentially incredibly damaging to Peyton Manning. This is just the latest in a slew of claims filed against numerous universities for their handling of sexual assault cases. Just last month, Florida State and Baylor University each settled claims by female students alleging football players assaulted them. The University of Tennessee's lawyer says the school acted lawfully and in good faith in the situations outlined in the lawsuit against them. A lot of people are watching this mighty closely. Right. All right, Ryan. Thank you. Sure.